This week's Music Monday is the Sexy Rhino Edition with Jay Jung's Mind. Oh, oops, wrong video. <clears throat> with Jay Jung's Mind. Wow, this might be the least K-pop-ish video we've ever reviewed. It's not colorful, there's no dancing, there's no lip rubbing, it's hardly in focus, we'll get to that later, and it has a very dark theme to it. It does, however, adhere to the K-pop video feel of having a very theater-esque feel to it, which I happen to love. What with all the costumes and hair changes, and that bit of blue hair as well. What? And there's no randomly thrown in English to be cool either. It does a great job of balancing on the cusp of artsy and cool and is both meaningful and trendy. I feel like the members of JYJ have really taken control of their images. What with Junsu's videos expressing his sexuality and now Jae Jung expressing his darker side. I wonder what we could expect from Yoo Chun. Hey Nikki, I'm so fine, I'm so fine, I blew my mind, hey Nikki. So for those of you that are new to K-pop and the controversy with TVXQ, you might not understand Jae Jung's roots. Without going into too much detail, Jae Jung is now a part of JYJ, and the trio were originally a part of TVXQ, which is run by SM Entertainment. JYJ battled against SM Entertainment to get out of their contracts a few years ago, but once they got out of their contracts, JYJ has been battling against SM stifling of JYJ ever since. Now, there's a lot more to the story than that, but that basic rundown will give you a better foothold into forming your own understanding of this video. For starters, it's a very symbolic video, but before we get into that, let me say this. For every single K-pop Music Monday we've ever done, we always get people who read into music videos a lot more than they probably should. Seriously, not every single video or every single detail in every video is necessarily deep and symbolic. Black dogs represent death, owls represent wisdom, crows represent cunning, circles represent the cycle of life, and snow represents the season of death. I don't find talking about that kind of stuff interesting. Owls also eat mice, and dogs bark whenever you ding dong the doorbell. I'd rather see how each of these animals are used in the video, rather than seeing them on their own and saying that the video is so deep and symbolic because there's a few frames with an animal in it. Did you know that Pekingese dogs are part of the Chinese royalty? And we make our blue mohawk Pekingese dog dance to K-pop at the end of our Music Monday. Does that mean that we're symbolizing how K-pop has desecrated and is taking over China? Hello. My name is Spudgy. If you are watching this video, you have been deployed on your secret mission to China. Super Junior M, XOM, prepare to infiltrate communism when you see this dance. Secret infiltration dance. When you see this dance, it means deployed our forces. That is all. This video was self destruct in five seconds. Ah! People, that's silly. That kind of symbolism does not interest me. The kind of symbolism that does interest me, though, is much more overt. Breaking free of chains and muzzles, for example, makes sense considering Jae Jung's history. And that's a clear message he might be trying to convey. The same goes for the diamond mask scenes. A diamond mask that he sings to, for example, suggests a false face. On the outside, there's the appearance of beauty, wealth, and perfection. While behind the mask, Jae Jung is something different. Also know how unaccidentally crappy those shots are. The camera barely brings focus onto the diamond mask. When, however, he's a confident dark vampire angel, then you've got no problem seeing his face at all. But if you see Jae Jung with his false face on, it's all blurry. You can't see it right simply because it's not right. That has to be the reason or else someone really needs to fire that crappy cameraman. And even when you see him with the mask on at first, his mouth is hanging open and he looks either hypnotized or drugged. He's not really moving at all. He looks like he's not under his own control. And then we see that slithering, cold-blooded snake work his way around his body. And now consider how many control issues he and the other members of JYJ have fought against. And then this scene might make a little bit more sense. That or he just really doesn't like snakes. Now at the beginning of the video, we see him stumbling and lost in the woods. He looks frightened and confused and super inappropriately dressed for the weather. Seriously, you need like a scarf? Hashmina? And at the same time, we see shots of him chained to that giant wheel. But as soon as he breaks free of the chains and he throws that collar dramatically to the ground, he is no longer lost in the woods, and that imagery is to never return again. Instead, he transforms into a confident Taejung, one who is able to plow headfirst into a flock of angry crows. Maybe they're not angry, but they look kind of angry. Don't crows always look angry? Notice that all the crows look the same and are all going in one direction, which can be a way of Taejung saying that he's going against the stream and doing something different. And also, he's probably trying to get through that stream of non-stop crow poop. Tons and tons of crow poop, seriously. Poop. 
everywhere. Also, we can't forget that some of the video could just be because it's Jae Jung's day of video and he could do whatever he wants. If he likes a goth rock aesthetic and is influenced by, let's say, J Rock, then having a similar look and feel in his video makes sense. And it won't necessarily be devalued if you don't derive great meaning out of every image. Just like when he becomes a latex rhino. Does he make you horny, baby? That was definitely meant to be a scene from Taron Telegraph, by the way. Now, that being said, as much as I respect Jae Jung for what he's done with the song and video, I'm sorry, guys. This kind of goth rock isn't really my thing at all. I wouldn't mind it for a boss battle in Final Fantasy 15 if that ever comes out. But you won't catch me listening to this otherwise. Sorry, yo. I'm more into Junsu's nasty music than Jeju's angsty music. While I totally and completely disagree, I loved this song upon first listen. I feel like I just listened to the opening theme song for some like super kick-ass anime about like vampire ninjas. Anime scriptwriters jump on that. And his vocals? It's like a combo breaker of singing and yelling and emo horrific voice cracking. Yes, I would like some more Jijun Awesome Sauce, my burger. Thanks for asking. Rock ballads are usually drums and guitars plus like nice R&B-like singing, but this is heavier and darker. And I love the two minute and 10 second mark where it like slowed down for like that short, sad piano riff, but then picked up again around the three minute mark where Jae Jung proceeds to scream his heart out. As a big fan of rock music, Jae Jung, you get the Martina Approves jig. <laughs> As for the English of the song, there is no English. Move along. So for last week's showdown, we asked you who was the biggest scumbag? Snape and I Got a Boy, or Chungji and No More Perfume? And Chungji won by like a super duper landslide, probably because he was all smug about it. And we didn't see Snape all gloating about it. Unless you watched our blooper footage, then you would see Snape gloat. For this week's Otsy Fotsy edition, we ask you which super Otsy solo JYJ video you preferred. Junsu's in Tarant Telegraph or Jae Jung's in mine. Ooh, we're so evil at making you vote. <laughs> Leave your sexy solo votes in the sexy solo comments and we'll announce the sexy solo winner next week. Also, if there's a video you want to see me do for next week's Music Monday, because I'll be doing it by myself since Martin's going to be out of the country, head on over to ichikimchi.com slash kpopcharts and get voting, where I could definitely mock Martina whatever video I review. Hey. It's going to be great. It's not very fair. It's going to be totally fair. You have no control. You have no camera while you're there. What are you going to do? And lastly, don't forget to like and favor this video and to subscribe for more Music Mondays. Take it away, crushing communism spudgy. Say goodbye to communism spudgy is coming through. Say goodbye to communism spudgy comes for you. Dancing spudgy secret signals. Secret K-pop stars coming for changing country. <laughs>